you know what? Product review time. We are going to review these guys, the Oakley Advancer EV sunglasses. And we're going to do something I haven't done, well, for almost a week. I'm going to go for a bike ride. Uh, yeah, look, we're going to kick back off with a product review. We're going to talk about the sunglasses that I'm currently wearing, the Oakley Radar Advancer EVs. They're like the little cousin of those new flight jackets. So let's head out and have a look at them. Okay, so let's talk about what makes these essentially cycling sunglasses in the first place. This little nose, you've seen that on the flight jackets, pops the frame three to five mil off your face. The theory is when you're going that little bit slower, specifically in hotter or more humid conditions, the sunnies don't fog up. I've actually popped it up here now for you. So this is this is it popped up. The other thing guys specific about these is the arms. They're a little bit longer. The theory is that they cling on a little bit better to your face. Obviously you can run into problems with retention systems on helmets. Probably wouldn't have that problem with the Oakley helmet. And I don't have the problem with the, the laser bullet or the Z1. Apart from that guys, you're essentially looking at a set of Oakley radars. The aesthetic is very, very similar. And so is the riding style and the feel on the face. So the two biggest questions about these glasses really are in regards to this nose piece. The first one is, does it work? Does it work? Yes. In humid, hot conditions, riding that little bit slower, there is definitely an advantage to have it. It clearly stops the fogging, no two ways about it. What effect does it have? So, this is interesting, specifically on these. I have found, especially in low light, low winter light, like we, we sort of have a bit at the moment, the nose piece does pop it a little bit higher on your nose especially if you have a larger nose. And I have found that light can sneak in around the top a little bit more than I noticed on the older radars. It's certainly something to think about. It's not a deal breaker, but it certainly exists. They are a very light pair of sunglasses, guys. They feel light on the face and they physically are light. The other thing, guys, I know you've been wanting to know this one, the ultimate test Helmet capability, very good. Works on the Z1, works on the Bullet. I'm sure it works on most of the other helmets. So guys, I wanna show you quickly just the tint on these glasses. These are the Golf Prism lenses. Let's have a quick look. So, apologies, a slight smudge on them. But you get an idea, it gives you almost like a sepia tone we're about into the sun guys and this is where it really should become quite obvious so you can kind of see there obviously seriously overexposed again uh, and we're going to pop the lens on and watch the cloud detail that's kind of what you're interested in you should hopefully pick up a little bit more contrast in those clouds more detail on the skyline now we're dealing with a one inch sensor on the sony rxo here so this is not your eyes but you get the idea so there it is without and hopefully when I put that over again, you'll see some more detail on the, on the skyline and in those clouds. I didn't run these in the Philippines. Two reasons. The first is, well, those road prism lenses that I've got on the flight jackets, man, I absolutely love them. And the other, well, the flight jackets are better. Like, that no frame along here, I'm sorry, but that is genius. Like any sunglass that doesn't have that to me now is like inferior technology. Look, sunglasses are the most personal thing you could probably wear. So I can't say these are gonna be for everyone, but. I think what I wanted to say to you guys is, yeah, the technology works, these newer sort of advantages definitely work, but if you can do the flight jacket thing, if you don't hate the look of them, there's definitely a performance advantage. 
shout out. Just want to finish up, guys, by saying, obviously, the Philippines was an incredible experience for all of us. And yeah, it was also a eye-opening experience for all of us. One thing we just really want to do quite quickly is I want to give away my jersey from the tour. It will be signed by the whole team. Unfortunately, it will be in an extra small. But guys, very, very simple. We're not going to go the Izzy Folau GoFundMe page style. Uh, literally, just comment below with how much you would pay for this jersey. Please keep it realistic. Uh, and whatever you say, we will donate directly to the World Bicycle Relief Fund and we will send this jersey out to you. We'll figure out some sort of payment method on how that works. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We are gonna have quite a few product reviews coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, guys, as always, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel. And do I have an outro? I think this, ah, we have an outro. Rarely discussed, but what about these sunnies as well, leisure sunnies? No, not under any circumstances because, well, number one, it's not in the mid-90s. Number two, I don't play golf. And number three, I haven't given up. I just, I'm not willing to just give up.